Welcome everybody to HKLA's virtual LAX convention for 2021. Today, I'm excited to have a very special guest, one of our MRT goaltenders and, and captains for the men's representative team, uh, Wilson Wong. Wilson has done a lot of work with uh, our box goalies. He, he actually played box for the MRT team when it represented Hong Kong at the World Indoor Lacrosse Championships in Langley, British Columbia in 2019. So what we're going to do with him today is we're just going to go through the beginner stance and steps or uh, positioning to, to become a box goaltender. It's, it's a little bit different than what you would do with a field goaltender. And so for all of you potential box goaltenders out there, this might be a really good start for you. So let's get down to the rink and uh, Wilson, take it away. So this is my teammate, Jensen. He went to the World Lacrosse Indoor Championship with me. And Jensen has done a great job in demonstrating the body stance of a goal. First, about the feet, yes, it is about the shoulder width. And the knee is slightly bent. And his upper body is staying up one. His step hand is holding in a good position, which is allowing the stick is touching the ground. And his glove, the padding of the glove is facing forward so that the ball will not hit any part that is without any padding. The off hand, you can see he's, he is placing it at the waist level. And I think many people have different ways of putting it, and I like the way he did it because. It is relaxed, and sometimes you can just put your off hand at the, at the pants of your gear, so you can stay relaxed. And there are three main key points of, of a good stance. And the first thing is stay relaxed and focused. This for most of the time of goalie, you, you don't have to stay very tense. Although the ball is moving around outside, but you just need one move to save the ball. So it is important to stay easy, relax, and focus on the net. Like what Jensen did, his net is slightly bent. It, it act like a spring that you are ready to explode lateral to save the ball. And the second key point is maintain the body balance. You do not want to want the body to lean forward or lean on the stick that will lock the movement. Your body weight is about the center, center of your body so that you can look sideways easily. And the third point is you have to stay back in the net. And you can see Jansen also did a great job. His upper body is staying upright. And you can see his elbow is out. When, when, he, when he moves back into the net, see how much he covered the net. And that's all the, all the basic key points for good stance as a goal. Okay, Wilson, that's great stuff about the stance. Fantastic demonstration here by Jansen. Can you take us through then the different positions in the net that a young goalie wants to learn so that he's in position to make the save? Sure. Go ahead, please. So, this Jansen doing a good job again. For, for a goalie to have a good position, it is very important to, because it depends on whether the shooter is from outside or inside. This for most of the time, the ball is going around from outside. I think the goalie should take a more out position 
and we were saying we will do a five points arc. Depends where the shooters are. And the five points arc are, yes, and it's now say at the 45 degree arc, which the shooter is at the 45 degree on, on the goalie's right hand side. But the next point is, is, is the goals. That means the, when the shooter is running down the field and across the 45 degrees point, and you see he is covering the post very nicely. And for the other two, three points, is the 45 degree on our side, the center, and also on the post on the bottom. So I've just said the position is very dependent on the shooter is when the ball or the shooter is going or inside Jensen will stay closer to the net because you can see when the shooter is very close to the net you will find more space from the top angle or in the side angle. So, Jensen, if he stay more inside the net, he will be taking up more space for a shooter. What about the ball going behind the cage? When you see some video of the cross and cross game, they will sometimes bound behind the goal. So, Jensen is demonstrating how from the back of the net. This, you can just jump inside the back of the net. He must step into the post very tightly so that there will be no space for the shooter to dunk. Once the shooter touched the end zone, it was a pop. So it's not a great job. And one more tip for, for goalies if for a, for a shooter that's ready, it will be more preferably going this side. For a lovely student, the other way around. And the answer to the break of that is back, it's also stacking to the top round. Yes. If you're standing, if you're not stacking enough to the, to the top round, the shooter will just shoot at the back to the ball will bounce inside the end. So thank you, Jansen. So that's great. Uh, Wilson, now we've got them uh, in a good stance. We've got them in a great position. But what happens when the shooter takes a shot? What do they do to make a save? I think that's really important to go through too. So if you do that for us, that'd be great. So when the shooter starts shooting, you'll be in the ready position. You'll be willing to move sideways. It depends where the shooter shoots. So let's say the shooter should have the six side line. Okay, as you can see, his elbow is up. His leg is stepping sideways and maintaining his body part very strongly. So the other way around, when the shooter is doing the yeah, offset line, yeah, he's moving his elbow up again. And like uh, making a 90 degree, so that it's just a bit shape. So, what if the shooter is shooting low, say, stick side low? So, Jensen, the ball shoot and stick side low. <laughs> yeah, he's it's, it's done a great job. Okay. Just relax, feel easy, and receive the ball because you are so back in that. The ball is beat yourself, it beat the padding, and that's the same. Same thing for the for ball, and ball shooting low at the offset side and also at the five point. Just welcome the ball to, to the body. That's it. Yeah, that's really good stuff. I think uh, one of the points that I had a, an old goalie tell me years ago is that 
when a young goalie starts out, they have to really enjoy feeling the ball, hitting their body, right? Because if they get used to that feeling, it means you made a save. And that's exactly your job. Yeah. Right? So that's, that's great stuff. That's fantastic stuff. So thank you very much. Wow, Wilson, thank you so much for coming down to the rink today. Uh, we reviewed so much information. In such a short period of time, we went through the stance, we went through the positioning in the net and in the crease, and even the steps that you take uh, towards making a save. It's, it's, it's valuable information for starting goaltenders, and I think if they get out there and get shots and get lots of repetitions and, and get what we call ball time, uh, I really think that uh, they can improve their game rapidly. So thank you so much for coming down today. I really appreciate it. And everybody stay tuned for more great information in the rest of the uh, 2021 LAX convention here for the HKLA.